Okay, now we're going to talk about pendulums right now. Okay, because uh, because I want you to I want you to experience a pendulum. Um, how many people here work with a pendulum already? Oh my God. You guys are some spirits that are But now I want to know what it is. Crap. All right. How many? Let me. How many don't know about pendulums? Okay, I'll talk Heard to the five of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more than that. Um, all right. A pendulum. This is a pendulum. This is a pendulum. Any any kind of necklace that you wear. Anything that's on a string. Is a pendulum. You don't have to get this. is an official pendulum here. Uh, but back when Bertie taught us about pendulums, we all, everybody wore crosses back then. And so we just take off our necklace and use it as a pendulum. A pendulum is interesting because a lot of people use them to get answers. Um, and the jury's out as far as where does the information come? Is it your intuition that's working through the pendulum? Is it your spirit guides? Is it your thoughts that are controlling the pendulum? Uh, nobody can really say, all right? Um, when I've asked her about it, she just kind of shrugs. Yep. I had a healing done with a pendulum. Okay. Um, she was one of your students, okay. um, but that's how she did the healing, was she used the, the pendulum. Okay, she would go down, would she go down your body, honey, and just ask your body where you needed a healing? Um, she asked me, like, I could ask, like, emotional questions, like, I want healing for, like, my relationship with my mom, okay. and then she would use the pendulum to do that, and she had, like, a guide book where... It would say like where it was coming from, and it was a lot of charts. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, the thing about it is, you can create your own <laughs> charts if you want. And uh, the nutritionist that I go to, she uses a pendulum, and she'll like trying to find uh, allergies. You know, so she'll go down like milk, and if it reacts, then she knows. Okay, I'm allergic to milk. The next one, corn, doesn't even move. Next one, um, uh, gluten. Oh, boy, it goes crazy. Okay. Next one, next one, next one, next one. That's what she does, is she tests the body that way. Okay. She has you, um, like, spit on a piece of cotton, and then um, she, like, gets your vibration into the pendulum, and then that's when she's able to ask the specific questions. Um, from your spit? Yeah, it gets your energy into the, yeah, into the spit. Yeah. So um, what, did she, you wipe it on the pendulum then, or? No, honey, she just, she just kept it right there on, because she had the questionnaire <coughs> of, of, like, we were testing for allergies, and so she would just, she had me spit on the cotton, and she put the cotton right down on the um, on the piece of paper that had all the questions on it, and then she just went down. Okay, and it was accurate according to other tests that I've that I've done too. Okay, um, so what you do is you take a piece of paper, and you um, and really what I'd like you guys to do is well I'll just show you what you do is. Take your, you take your pendulum, you hold it over a piece of paper, you hold it still. You ask the pendulum, which way do you want to, which way do you want to go for the answer no? And all of a sudden, okay, so you want to go that way. So then you just Your oh. yeah, are amazing. Oh yeah, there's yeah. can I have a bag, Oh yes. I have one too. <laughs> delicious. Oh, they're so cool. They're so they're so cool. 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 they Sorry, it's not an exact circle. Okay, uh, so it's it wants to go this way for no, so obviously this way for yes. All right, 
You ask your pendulum what it wants to do. And people, a lot of people, live by their pendulums, live by the guidance of their pendulums. So you just hold your circle, and then you ask your pendulum questions, okay? And they move. They really, truly do move. So I can use my necklace. Yes. And so what I'd like you guys to do is I'd like you to, um, and I have tablets up here, and we have more in, in the closet. So I'd like you to make a circle for yourselves. And I'd like you to, if you have on a necklace, or if you have on uh, uh, even a, I think, a, well, I was going to say a bracelet, but uh, if you have uh, a necklace, yeah, that would work just fine. Yep. Does the uh, in, does it ever go against your intuition? Well, that's the problem that I have with the pendulum is that I've seen it give misinformation, and so when I started seeing that, what? you know, like uh, one thing you can do with uh, when you're at a baby shower is put it over the mommy's tummy and just say, okay, if you're a boy, I want you to go this way. If you're a girl, I want you to go yeah, this way. Yeah, that's the only way I've seen it. Okay. Yeah, that's and, the only um, way I've seen it, too. So a lot of times when it doesn't want to answer, what it'll do is just go like this. Wow. Yes. Okay, yeah. And you don't get any answer at all. Okay. okay. I, thought that was mine, I think yes. it's because you're supposed to dive deeper when that happens. You're supposed to ask further. Okay. okay so that's no. So then, because that's what the lady... When I did, if the pendulum did this, she's like, okay, it needs more information. Are okay. you going to ask differently? Okay. And I can, I can understand exactly what she's saying. Because sometimes okay. questions are really vague. Um, they seem clear to us, but they may not be clear to whoever is working through the pendulum. Yes. Okay. Is it sometimes maybe that it's a question that you're not supposed to have an answer to? Yes. And I think that's why we get this a lot. Because, <laughs> not a lot, but you're supposed to know the answer. To, uh, I think that's why, because we're not... Okay, did you ask it yes. other questions? Yes. yes. Yeah. And then I asked okay. it the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I know I got the, I know I asked it, I got, I got no and then to reconfirm, I asked it again in a different way to, to validate the no. And it went to the right, or it went the other way. Okay. So it worked. So it was affirming. Okay. Yeah, affirming. What percentage of the time is it right? Oh, yeah. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Did you ask about it? Echo, is it 100% right? Do it again. 100% right? Right. 100% right. Oh, honey, I can't. Oh, I'd love to say it was 100% right, but I've seen it when it's given the wrong answer, so that's, that's the problem with trusting it too much. That's why, that's why I don't talk about the pendulum until usually the very last, because I want you to trust your intuition more than your pendulum, okay? Your intuition and your pendulum should always be in agreement with each other. I, a lot of times we'll check my Check my right? Yeah, they should be completely in agreement with each other.